Hello, this is David from Geek This. Today I'm going to talk about the outliner in SketchUp. This will help you manage your sketch that you're working on. So to open the outliner, you want to go to Window and Outliner. So by default, uh, we see the document name. I save this as Geek This, but it will just say Untitled Document if you didn't save the document yet. And we have Susan. And now we don't have Susan. So components will and groups will show up inside of the outliner. Layers are a completely different thing, so that's not going to show up. So if we highlight this uh, box we made, and I make it a component, we see the component appears and it's identified by four little boxes. You can move it up and down, but since it's the only component, we don't need to, we can't really move it. So I'm going to duplicate it a few times. And now we see all of the components that we have. But having them listed like this makes it so there's less room. And they're all the same item, so why don't we group them together? I'm going to highlight all of them, right click, hopefully on the screen, let me just navigate around, and go to make group. Now we have a group, which is a solid box, and I can hide and show what's in that group, which is all the components. But what, what if I only want to see these three and this one's just getting in my way? To hide it without using layers, you can open up the group, find the component you're talking about. In this case, it's this one. We can see the outlined blue of the one that's currently is selected. Right click, hide. Components that are hidden are grayed out. Other components are black and text. Once I'm done maneuvering and editing, I can unhide and it's back. So if I have another one of these groups, I'm going to copy and paste it. We have multiple groups now. I can close the tree items and just move them around to organize better. I can also right click and rename somehow. There we go, on the bottom. So group main Rename group back and group middle. So I can easily identify which group is which. So if I want the main group, which was the first one we made, group main, if I want the one that's further back, group back. You can also rename the components, but if you go into too much detail about renaming, it will just, you'll spend all the time renaming your outliner components and groups instead of actually drawing. The next thing are groups inside of groups. So I'm just going to drag group middle inside of group main. So now in the tree view we see group main, then all the elements of it, and then we have another group, group middle. These are now part of the same thing and you can see it's outlined both of them. And like always, you can right click and hide both of them. Right click and unhide. You can also erase the whole thing, which is the exact same as delete. You can lock the layers so there's no possible movements that you can do. So if I want to try to move it, I can't. But most of these functions you can get with the normal context menu by just right clicking lock. But the outliner actually gives you a visual of all the components and groups inside of your document. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, you can visit our YouTube channel at GeekThisNet or subscribe to see our newer uploads. This has been David from GeekThis, and until next time, goodbye.